Whenever I bring a new record home, I do the same thing. I will let you in on that important ritual coming up next. Hi guys, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Sundays and Channel 33 RPM number one for vinyl gear and more. For those of you into t-shirts, remember to check out the Channel 33 RPM merch store for t-shirts kind of like this and tons more starting at only $9.99 with professional worldwide shipping starting at only $3. Link below this video. Now, without further ado, let's drop the needle on today's episode. The first thing I do when I bring home a brand new record is crack open the seal like I have done with this record. Then of course is the whole question of hype stickers kind of like this one. I did a whole episode on that if you missed it I will leave a link below. As far as this record is concerned this is the debut from German UK band Lucifer called Lucifer One. Here's the record it's on black vinyl. Now one of the problems I often find with brand new records is static and this one is no exception. I will show you here is a tissue and I'll put it right on the record and hold it up. Apologies for the glare. Hold it up you can see the static is so bad that the tissue sticks right to the record. So one of the first things we're going to do is clean this record and address the static issue. As we all know there are many many ways to do this. You can use a brush and fluid, you can use a spin clean, all sorts of things. For this particular record I am going to use my vinyl vac. There we go, clean and shiny. Apologies for the glare. Now let's try the tissue test and see if, uh, well we know the record's clean, but let's see if it passes the static test. So we'll put this on here and we will lift it up and tissue falls off. So that simple clean was all we needed to remove the static. If it had persisted, then I would have used my zero stat and blasted it uh, further and gotten rid of it. But for this particular record, that's all that we needed. So the next thing, I like to do with every new record I get is to sleeve it and place it in this MoFi anti-static sleeve which is what we are going to do right here and carefully we will sleeve it in this sleeve so there you go here is the album jack in this particular case uh, I see no reason to remove the shrink I know there's some arguments that the shrink shrinks over time it can warp the record but as long as I've relieved the pressure by opening it I haven't found that to be much of an issue so I'm just going to, where did I put it? Here's my outer sleeve. I choose the plain old uh, outer sleeves you can get pretty much any record store. So we'll put it in here. There we go. And what I do just for sheer convenience, I slide the record into the back, kind of like this. You can see right there for easy access. When it's on my shelves, I can just pull it out. And before I forget, this is the um, inner sleeve that came with the record. It's not a plain white one, it is black. So I am gonna keep this as well. I'm just going to slide this uh, also into the back of the record. So the package is complete. Let's go back to the music room and I'll show you next what I do on my computer. And this is the corner you don't often see. It's off the side. This is where I have my computer. And I've shown this before, but this is my Excel spreadsheet where I log every record in my collection, including categories such as artist, title, year, genre, country of origin, uh, the price I paid, category number, label, and any special notes. I don't really have any special notes about this one. So I will leave a blank in that is my ritual. Okay, 33 years now, it's your turn. What is your record ritual? We would love to know. Let us know in the comments below. Remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a quick like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that button. You'll never miss another episode again. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on spinning.